So, Qualcomm's new Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 has arrived earlier than expected this year, and it's already powering some of the hottest upcoming flagships. We've seen it debut in the Xiaomi 17, it's headed for the OnePlus 15, and of course, Samsung's Galaxy S26 lineup is also expected to join the party, at least partially. But here's where it gets really interesting. Reports out of Korea suggest that Samsung is working on a special version of the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5, one built using its own 2 nanometer process. And apparently, samples of this chip have already been sent over to Qualcomm for testing. If everything checks out, this 2 nanometer version won't be for the Galaxy S26 series, but rather for something coming later. Most likely the Galaxy Z Flip 8, which is expected to drop in 2026. Now, this is a big deal because earlier this year, Samsung actually swapped out Qualcomm's chip for its in house Exynos 2500 in the Galaxy Z Flip 7. So, bringing back Qualcomm Silicon, and a customized one at that, could be a smart move to win back fans who weren't exactly thrilled about that switch. The reason Samsung's even doing this comes down to one thing, improved yields. Basically, their chip manufacturing process is finally catching up. Samsung's already started mass production of the Exynos 2600 using a similar 2 nanometer process, which they call SF2. This design promises better efficiency, lower power consumption, and less heat. All thanks to tighter transistor spacing and a smarter logic gate layout, of course Qualcomm still has to green light the whole thing before Samsung can move forward. They'll be watching not just for raw performance, but also how well the chip handles thermals, and whether Samsung can consistently produce enough of them without issues. And that's something Samsung has been trying to fix for years. Remember when the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 had those infamous heating problems? Qualcomm had to move production from Samsung to TSMC halfway through the cycle. So, this new partnership could be Samsung's shot at redemption, proving they can finally make chips that run cooler, faster, and more efficiently. There are also whispers that Samsung might develop a lower-cost version of this Snapdragon chip for other brands, though that part's still unclear. If the Galaxy Z Flip 8 does end up with this special 2 nanometer Snapdragon, it could really give Samsung a marketing edge. It would not only make the Flip 8 stand out as something unique, but also show the world that Samsung's semiconductor division is back in the game. So, what do you think? Will Samsung finally nail its chip game this time around, or will Qualcomm stick with TSMC for good? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to know what you think. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this update, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.